diving thousands of meters deep below the ocean waves to the ocean floor in order to perform some scientific reactivation, creature discovery and more can be an immersive experience in every sense of the word. SubROV or SubROV from Developers Square Lab puts you in command of just such a diving ROV submarine, which is capable of reaching the very deepest depths across the world. It does have a simple yet realistic button command and multi-cam interface, including a mechanical arm, which allows you to manipulate, repair and remove specific scientific artefacts safely whilst at depth. Sub ROV is Square Lab's first release and it releases in early access on Steam today. There are numerous plans moving forward but no official roadmap to speak of yet. Sub ROV is a very relaxed, slow paced, zen like experience with some rather nice audio accompanying it. It is worth mentioning that there are some audio improvements which could still be made. Collisions for example are currently silent but the audio that does exist is very good and it helps to create an immersive ambiance. At first glance you might consider the graphics to be a bit of a negative point. And whilst it is true that we're not here looking at groundbreaking next-gen graphics, they do do enough in order to help convey the gameplay experience. And it's the gameplay experience which is most important here, because it's a Moorish affair. Unexpected discoveries can lead on to additional, potentially even more intriguing discoveries, and that's what keeps you coming back. So, after completing the small number of tutorials, which do require a small but manageable learning curve to be accomplished, be heading off to one of six locations across the planet's oceans. Each location has numerous missions which begin on top of the waves in your support vessel, where you will be tasked with sailing to and deploying your ROV in order to achieve a certain set number of objectives. As you plunge ever deeper into the depths of the ocean, you can encounter numerous underwater anomalies that you can then scan and document for additional XP. Using a combination of controls, lights and sonar scanners, you can expect to see new coral or animal species and occasionally something even cooler than that. I found myself to be immersed and engaged with the entire experience and often saying to myself, just one more discovery before I surface again. And that is the draw of the game in its entirety. It's about discovery. And every time you discover and scan a new item, it will unlock another new similar item as well. And although I don't know exactly how many there are, I can confirm there are quite a lot of each species and plant type. As the game evolves and moves forwards, I would definitely hope to see a lot more content become included. More plant life and wildlife in the ocean. We desperately need to see fish. And right now the seabed is just way too sparse for it to be truly immersive. Sub ROV could also benefit greatly from adding a storyline, a career, or perhaps simply the ability to convert XP into upgrades for your ROV and your scanning equipment. I'd like to see battery life limitations at the start, extensions for the core distances and ROV speed adjustments and improvements and additional lights which you can add as you progress. Sometimes you just need to deploy and detach and then reattach and leave in order to complete an objective. Personally I'd like to see more complex missions requiring the precision use of the robotic arm. And I would also like to have more challenging locations to explore with even more breathtaking discoveries to unearth like sunken treasure, black box recovery and more. More could definitely be done with the ship on the surface too, perhaps a first person cockpit view from the bridge for example. Ultimately though, Sub ROV is a small but rewarding game that does deliver well on an interesting yet rather undercatered for simulation-esque experience. It does lack some meat on the bone right now, but what is there definitely tastes pretty great. And it's a title well worth a look. As always, we've got numerous hours of gameplay footage uploaded to YouTube, so do feel free to take a look if you're interested in seeing more. Thanks for your time, please hit the like button and leave your comments below.